Hey guys, how's it going? It's LazyBeast here, and today we've got a little mount guide. This is going to be how you can get yourself the Sin Runner Blanche mount that comes from Revendreth in the Shadowlands. So this is going to take you six days in total to complete, and it's similar to the Alpaca mount in Oldham in BFA, but you need different items this time. It's not the same item every day. So I'm going to go through what all those items are and where you can get them, and then what you've actually got to do with old Blanche, or dead Blanche to be precise. So I recommend getting all these items before you start trying. Uh, you can't give them all at once, it's one interaction per day per character of yours and so other people can interact with her at the same time. She's only up for around five minutes when someone interacts with her. Uh, she sort of runs around the zone but the best thing to do is get to a spawn point and catch her as soon as she spawns because she runs quite fast and uh, she's on about a one to two hour respawn timer currently but that might change. So, getting the items, so what do you need? So this is the easiest order to get them, and it just sort of makes sense. You don't need to get them in this order if you don't want to. I'll tell you the order later of which you actually give them. Uh, but if you have all the items in your bags first, you don't even need to think about it. Because uh, when you interact with old, well, dead Blanche, it'll just give you the option to give her the item of the day, depending on where you're currently up to. So if you miss a day or something, it doesn't matter. So first up are the Orts. So what you need to do is go to Westfall, and these are different to the original Orts that you would have got if you leveled up as an Alliance through Westfall. They're in different packaging, as you can see on the screen. So you're going to need eight of these, and they're dotted around the farms. Uh, again, as you can sort of see on the map there, dotted around the first couple of farms, and you can get two to three each time, so you don't actually need to find eight packets on the floor. Now, you need to be level 55 to loot these. This is where the level requirement comes in. Um, I'm not sure why it's level 55, but it is, and when you're going through the campaign anyway, you'll only get to Revendreth probably around level 56 at the minimum, so you're already going to be at the right level anyway. So once you've got your eight alts, the next thing to do is go back to Revendreth, and you're going to need to go to Darkhaven and speak to Snickersnee. Uh, now what you need from him is a grooming brush, all you've got to do is just chat to him, I'll give it you for free. Um, a little tip for finding NPCs in towns, um, when you get there, when you know you're in sort of the right location, you can type slash T-A-R for slash target, space, and then Snickers, Snickersnee, or whoever it is you're looking for. Um, if it's quite a specific name, you can literally just type in the first three letters, so slash T-A-R, space, and then Snick, and you know he's likely to be the only NPC or person around there with Snick in the name, so it'll target them for you when you can see where they are on the map. So once you've got that, if you look to the left of Snickersy, if you're standing in front of him, there's a bucket of water right next to him on the floor. So pick that up, and then what you need to do is go to Ardenweald, or Bastion, to any source of water, and click the bucket whilst you're stood in the water to fill it up with clean water. Just don't do what I did, and try and jump off this place, because the water isn't as deep as it looks. <laughs> I'm in danger! So make your way back to Revendreth, and the next thing you need to look for are some sturdy horseshoes. So you need four of these, and you can find them dotted all across the roads around Darkhaven and that lead to the Enmire as well. There's plenty around, it took me literally about five minutes to find these. I was on the beta obviously, so it was a bit quieter. There might be a bit more competition on live servers, um, but you shouldn't take you long to get four. And just collect them, you can get them as soon as you go into Revendreth. You don't need to have any interaction with Dead Blanche or anything before this. They should just be available to you. So just pick them up whenever you see them as you quest around. The next item is the Dread Hollow Apple. Now these are very simple again. They're sold by a vendor called Mims and he's at the hole in the wall in Revendreth again. So the closest flight path to this guy is the Charred Ramparts. Now if you've done these story quests you'll already have access to this flight path so it should be really easy to get to but you'll see where he is on the map and you'll figure your way out to get there. He's quite high up so you might need to take a lift to get up to him. The next thing is the comfortable saddle blanket. Now this is one, this one could be a little bit of a pain, but not too much. So the cost of this is from a vendor again, and the cost can change each week. Um, but you, all you would do is trade some meat for it. So it's 30 of one of four different types of meat. Now there may be different ones. Uh, the Wowhead page currently only lists three types, but when I went there on the beta, it was asking me for a different type of meat that wasn't listed. So it's either gonna be ethereal meat, creeping crawler meat, Phantasmal Haunch or some of these ribs that they asked me for and these meats drop from basically everything across the Shadowlands any kind of beast or horse or anything like that uh, you can probably also buy them on the auction house for relatively cheap if you don't want to farm them yourself and save yourself some time so as I said, I recommend that you get all these items before you start. Just have them in your bags and then you don't need to think about it. Even if this takes you a month to do, if you miss a few days or you forget to go and see Deb Blanche that day or whatever, or you, you camp her and she doesn't spawn, whatever, it doesn't matter. So the order you give them though is the oats, the brush, the horseshoe, the bucket of clean water, and then the comfortable saddle blanket and finally the apple, and then you'll get your mount. So like I said, you can do this, you can interact with her once a day 
and you can only give her one thing. So you can't give her all at once and you can't get them out. So it's going to take you six days. So what you could do is you could just literally go and get the oats to begin with and then give those. And then once you've given her the oats, you could go and get the grooming brush and then so on and so forth if you want to do it that way. So now for the interesting part. So you've got those things that shouldn't take you too long to get. You can probably get all those done in around an hour. And so now you need to find Deb Blanche. So she's sort of a rare spawn. She spawns in like a one to two hour timer, as I've already said. Now, what you need to do is go to this location on the map and she spawns in the water uh, near the bottom of this lift and she's in the Dreadmire. So one thing you need to bear in mind is there's a sort of zone debuff in the Dreadmire, which is going to stack a percentage amplifier on any shadow damage that you take. Now, you're going to be here for a while camping for her, unless you get really lucky. So this is likely going to stack to max stacks, which is which is 50 stacks. So you're going to be taking 500% more shadow damage. So all it takes is one little shadow priest or warlock on the opposite faction to come up and just like one shot you basically. So I recommend doing this with war mode off if you want to play it safe. The best thing to do as well is actually stand in the water because as soon as she spawns, she's going to set off running straight away. And if you stand directly in front of her, she will stop. Uh, there's this little dialogue thing saying she doesn't want to run you down so she will stop if you stand in front of her or you or somebody else so you can stand in the water make a little barrier so she can't get past because there's a mob directly behind where you're going to be stood and that can do a lot of damage as you can see i was on my guardian druid here and it was kicking my ass so um no matter who you know if you're a tank or not with that shadow damage debuff you're going to get take a lot of damage so you want to stop her as soon as possible and then interact with her she'll give you one dialogue option which is to give her the first item or wherever you're up to that that item and yeah that's basically it so she's there for around five minutes after the first person interacts with her and then she will despawn there'll be another dialogue option to show you that she's close to going and then around one minute after that there'll be another dialogue option saying she gets frustrated and then she leaves and then she just despawns basically so yeah repeat that for another five days after the first day and then you'll have your Sin runner Blanche mount. But the real question is, what did she do to end up in Revendreth? Who knows? That's a mystery for another day. So there we go, guys. That's how to get your mount. I hope you've enjoyed this guide. If you have, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more guides. Thanks for watching. I've been Laser Beast, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.